Good morning and welcome back to the shipping container build. This week is a big one. I am going to try and get the kitchen container in really, really good shape, do a five day push and see how far I can get on this project. We've had a bit of a setback because I think at least two of the windows in the kitchen are leaking quite a lot. So this is the window that's leaking and it seems to be leaking through here, which is like a seam in the window construction. So I will seal this up with some sealant and I think I'm actually gonna spray a rubber proof coating over almost the entire thing, including a little portion of where the glass meets here, just so that it's fully sealed because the water just pours down this wall. And then I'm also gonna build an awning up there to limit the amount of rain that hits this window. And I feel like between those two things, it should stop leaking. This is kind of the beauty of doing a shipping container home first, is you learn which materials work and how well they work. And I feel like if I build a house with American windows, I'm definitely gonna make sure that almost no rainwater hits them because they just don't seem to hold up um, quite well enough. You would need, I think, like boat windows for a situation like this, but it's all good. It's part of the process. And it's definitely like super, super cool to learn these lessons this way where I can fix them relatively easily. So yeah, let's get started. All right, I cleaned out this container so you could see what we're dealing with. So this window clearly leaks. And then there is this water here, which I don't know, it could be from that window or it could be from the skylight dripping down. It's hard to tell, but I'm gonna get a hose and a water tank and test every single window thoroughly once I have sealed them. This window is definitely leaking. This is the worst one. It honestly looks more menacing than it is just because the plywood got dark from the steel from welding. So it looks like dark and moldy and gross, but it's just a little bit of water. So it's not catastrophic, but long-term obviously you just can't have that. So I think I'll start with this window. So, of course, the one job I need the generator for is welding, and it's at the well right now. So, Frey and I are gonna hike over, go grab the generator, and then we can get started welding on this window awning, which hopefully will stop, I'm thinking like 70% of the rain. It's definitely not gonna stop at all, but I feel like it will limit the amount of rain, and then with a little bit more sealant, we should be able to get the window 100% waterproof.
All right, the window awning is done. The reason I built it this way, which is a little inelegant, is because I wanted to weld only on the very thick steel so that it wouldn't burn through and melt the spray foam on the other side. If I had done this pre-spray foam, then I probably would have had this support beam just go right there and it would have looked a lot nicer. But it's actually kind of cool this way, I think. And it's really strong, even though it's only tack welded together. So I'm gonna clean it up, clean up some of the edges and then the next like nice clear sunny day when I feel like it, I'll paint the whole thing white like this ladder, but it's not a top priority. We're gonna see now, next time it rains, how well this works. I think I'm gonna leave this piece of wood on and then we can see where it gets wet. So this is actually a pretty nice example of how the awning works. You can see the containers wet over there and dry under here till about there. So it doesn't work perfectly, but it reduces the amount of rain quite a bit. It's like this wall is getting almost fully wet now and this plywood is Mostly dry, except for this bottom section. to see the gutter in action. It's working. So no water is flowing down this wall at this window. It's all coming out the gutter up there. Let's see if this gutter is working over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. It is working. So I just want to keep the wall where the window is dry and there's really no harm in water going down the container anywhere else. Not my best work. Yep. No sealant. No sealant on these screws. Wow. Good morning. So it's day three of my five day push to get this kitchen in better shape. And once again, it's raining, but the good news is that it's raining pretty heavily with no wind. And you can see, maybe you can't see, but this window receives zero rain in a situation where there's no wind, which is honestly pretty cool because that's how it rains most of the time. Over here, if we take a look, this window is 100% dry, thanks to the gutter above in a situation with no wind. And this window is also 100% dry. So I feel like big improvements were made in the last two days, even though it was a lot of work. I feel like it was worth it to pause the interior build and make sure 
everything is actually watertight. I haven't seen any new signs of water on the interior and that's a good sign. The only thing is there's this water stain in the middle of the floor and we just cannot figure out where it could have come from. The skylight is the obvious contender, but I kind of think that it actually just spread somehow from the window because it's raining a lot right now and there's no new leaks. So a little confusing. <laughs> I'm sure at some point it will be very obvious when it comes back. If it comes back, please don't come back. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna switch gears today and do paneling, window trim, fun stuff, listen to a couple podcasts, and try and work a long, long day, but a little bit slower, because yesterday I got a migraine halfway through the day and I had to call it. So I wanna see if I can increase the hours, but decrease how hard I work. Yeah, here we go. All right, so it is 5.30 p.m. and I just wanted to show you where we are at for today. I got all five window sills in for the five different windows. It's a very time consuming process, but they look really, really nice. And it's been raining the whole day, still no new leaks. The spot that looks wet is chainsaw lubricant. So that's gonna look like that forever, unless I clean it off. But we are in pretty good shape now. The only thing left to do in terms of this type of work is figure out some sort of solution to frame out the vent and the skylight, which ideally would be a job you would do with two people, but we'll figure out a way to make it work. And tomorrow, 
I'm gonna switch gears and start paneling. day push to get this kitchen done and on top of that it's Cinco de Mayo <laughs> all the fives so yesterday I got the entire container paneled out so all of the panels are done the window sills are done I did it so much faster than Noah and I did the bedroom container because I realized that since I'm gonna be doing vertical trim on this one the seams don't need to be perfect so we spent so much time custom cutting every single panel to get it really nice and seamless. But I just gave up on that and there's a couple big seams, but it went so much faster. And I feel like the trim is gonna cover that anyways. So lesson learned, you can do it either way. The final step in the process is this ceiling area. We need to trim up something for this vent this is the kind of thing that would be so much nicer to do with two people. So Dana and Max are headed up here and hopefully during his second nap, she can give me a hand and we can get this installed, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, littles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Lou, it's perfect. Wow. I did. Yeah, Max, let's look. I bet you'll like this. Lou, you did so well. These look great. Not all the windows are done. This is gonna be your favorite window over here, Max. I this think. is gonna be my favorite room. Is it like, can I sit on it or no? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I made it strong so that it would be like a bench. Wow, okay, ready, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I already kicked Wait, the shoe what? off. <laughs> wow, it's so different. Isn't it? 
It ends up feeling bigger, I think, for some reason. The skylight looks really elegant. Yeah, the skylight is cool. And this is your <laughs> vent. <laughs> That's your person. <laughs> That's why I put her mat right there so yeah. I can keep an eye on her. It's perfect, actually. <laughs> right? And it's out of the rain. Yeah. I really like this little spot. Sit. I can, like, actually see it coming together now. Right? Yeah. <sighs> we just saw Lou's kitchen, and I cannot believe how beautiful it turned out. Like, in five days, he's completely transformed the space, and it just... I don't know, standing there trying to envision exactly where we put everything. We had a plan, but then seeing it now at the walls, you just really want to make sure in such a small space that we get those counters, we get the pantry, we get the little bathroom, the sink, everything in the right place. And it's like a balance. It's like you want to make it functional, you want to have storage, but you also don't want to overwhelm the space. So it's honestly a lot to think about. I feel like we might need to like come back with blue tape or some butcher paper to put on the ground and actually just map out things and be able to move them around because yeah, it's like really, really important that everything gets installed in a functional way because we just, I don't know, we spend so much time. Max and I literally spend almost all of our day when he's not sleeping in the kitchen and yeah, I want to make it a space that he can grow up in and he can feel like he can be included. And also, like, so that means making drawers that are good for him, but also don't, like, yeah, he smashes his fingers in them. Well, very successful day at the land. Lou has been cruising through the kitchen and now we're gonna take a little family stroll and enjoy just being up here together. It's such a nice feeling and to get a nap in and just sit and literally just sit in the kitchen on the floor trying to envision where all of the different pieces of the puzzle go. It's nice because it's like just giving our brain space to understand the space in reality and Lou's now decided in a few days he's gonna bring up a bunch of the things like the stove and the sink all the exciting pieces and then we can kind of figure out from there but ah, it's been a good week Lou has really crushed, crushed it <laughs> and putting in all he's got do you like that sound Max huzzah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but fun. yeah ready Max huzzah <laughs> um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody for supporting the shipping container build. It's honestly so fun to like get to share each step of the way with you. And an extra special thank you to our patrons. Um, our Patreon family really means so much to Lou and I. And we just had a really fun Zoom party with you. What was that last weekend? And I feel like once we do those Zooms, I like leave it with so much creative inspiration. And so, yeah, just wanted to say thanks to the patrons. Couldn't do this without you. What do you think, bud? Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next week.